We took a boat from Salerno, located on the Amalfi Coast in Italy, to something that we've been wanting to see for a long time, Positano. The boat is moving. We're looking beautiful coastal sides, and Marina's got her dork strap on her. <laughs> Double dork. Double, Double dork. dork. Nothing's coming off. And I have the ruta hood on. <laughs> The Gulfy Coast is filled with little storybook towns with their vertical panoramas of richly designed and decorated homes. The town is only accessible via boat or by a road. You can take a bus or a taxi, but driving, let's say it's not recommended. And there it was, beautiful Positano with its pink, yellow, peach and terracotta colors just inviting us in. During the Roman times, it was a famous uh, holiday destination, a title that it retains today, and I can see why. It's no wonder Under the Tuscan Sun was filmed here. This town dates back to the 9th century. That's the boat we were just on. Okay. Yay! <laughs> and uh, this is on our bucket list. Positano. Its name derived from a legend when a Turkish captain heard a painting he was transporting of a Virgin Mary whisper, Posa, which means lame. He believed it to be a sign, so he did. Setting it adrift, the locals who found it built a church in its place and named the town after it called Positano, which means Posa, lame, Posare place. Uh oh, she's seen shopping. They got some nice, uh, oh, $10. Those are nice. They're very colorful, eh? In the center of the town is the church with its tile dome, which we wanted to visit. I am trying. I am trying. We navigated its steep, narrow road to get to the church. Okay, if there's another set of stairs, I'm rebelling. It is Santa Maria Assunta. Santa Maria Assunta with this Majolica tile dome holds a 13th century Benzentium icon, the Black Madonna. Marina, what went up must go down <laughs> and down. Assist, That's right, you get gravity yeah. assist. <laughs> we decided to stop for lunch right on the promenade. This is our beautiful restaurant that we stopped and have lunch. And for lunch, we have some beautiful salad. Mixed salad and pomodoro, cantaloni pomodoro. Yeah, and beer, of course. It wouldn't be us without it. You're supposed to wait, but yeah. So here we are overlooking the mare. Okay, here we are in Posi. Positano. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> and Positano. first impressions, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous breathtaking, yeah. super expensive, super pricey. Yes. Right? Yeah. And we were reading the history of this place, and it obviously was a place where the rich people set up their summer homes to impress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would say that it is impressive. Very impressive. Princess Positano. <laughs> That's if we're smart, we would take a porter service up. But oh no, we're walking again. Keep walking. <laughs> Now, does this look familiar? <laughs> More stairs. Yes, everywhere you go in Positano, there is stairs. Going up, girl. There's cactus growing out of the rock. So we're going to that little area right there. 
This place was notorious for pirate attacks, especially in the 15th century. Now, it's tourist boats. And of course, even more steps. So we made it up to the castle, and I think it's actually a private home. Can no. you imagine who lives here? No. Yes. No. Yes. Torre Trasita, which means transit tower, could be one of the outposts that guarded them against any onslaught of pirates or other enemies. We hop back on the boat and sail towards the island of Capri. Greetings from Capri! Capri is a small island known for its designer boutiques, restaurants and its dramatic landscape. Roman Emperor Tiberius moved here in 27 AD where he ruled the empire for 10 years. We took an island tour to view the coast's rugged, cove-filled coastline. Capri's fable beauty has attracted many guests from Napoleon, Lenin, Mariah Carey, Sophia Loren, to name a few. One of its main attractions is the Blue Grotto, where the sea glows electric blue. We took a place in the queue and waited for about two hours to get in. A gondolier picked us up from our boat and rowed us towards the entrance. The opening was so narrow we had to lie down. Okay, get up. Sixty meters long, twenty five large. The light coming and the white set. Like it? Yes, very, very nice. nice. Yeah. We stepped on a boat which took us back to the main port and from there we hopped on the ferry which took us back to the mainland.